Okay, so we're gonna turn the machine on by flipping the switch. Okay, so now we're gonna open up Shopbot 3, the program. Press the reset button right here. And once you hear that noise, then you're good. But there should be a pop-up coming in soon. And then you press switch to move or cut mode, and then you're good. Okay, so now you want to move the machine over to do a tool change. So we're going to press K and then now we can move the arrow keys to move it down. Move around there. Okay, so now we're going to take this tool out. You hold the spanner wrench in your right hand and this other wrench in your left. First, we have to bring this panel. Okay. You want to make sure that you get in here like so. Okay. And now you would move it towards you until it loosens up. We're going to switch it with a quarter inch straight. Now when you put the tool in, you need to make sure that there is some clearance. So this is a half inch, a one and a half inch piece of foam. So when you put it up against it, there should be about an eighth of an inch clearance right there. So this looks good. I personally would do the, uh, Call it first and then put the tool in a little after once it's secure. So.
once you get that secure, you want to make sure again that there's some clearance. It's not really a lot of clearance, so let me just loosen it up a little bit. Tighten it up again. Make sure that it's okay. There's some clearance. And now we will do it the opposite way. So hold the spanner wrench in your left hand and this other wrench in your right. And so and now we're going to push it back towards us, make it sure it's snug. Okay. And then we would put this cover back up around here. And then tighten it. Okay, so now we're going to move the ma this machine back so that we can drill in the holes to secure the phone. So you press K, and we're going to move it back. Is this good enough? We're going to drill in the hole. Oh. And make sure that there's no gap in between the foam and the uh, wood. So, we're gonna make sure you press hard on it. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Now we're gonna move the machine back. It's already in moving mode. <clears throat> now we're gonna set the X and Y. up to the Z. We're trying to get it close to this corner as possible. So, after you exit out of the keypad mode, you hit Z2, and then X and Y are zeroed out. Now we can do the Z, but first we're going to have to move it over the part, so hit K again. bar out and put it underneath the tool. And make sure the tool is right above the plate. And then we're going to take this alligator clip up here. Take this alligator clip off and then put it on this metal band right here. out of the keypad again and we're going to hit this Z button right here. You click that. It says hit enter when above the plate and is ready. 
It is above the plate, so we hit OK. And the machine will go down twice. back here and the alligator clip is back here. Okay. Now we're ready to run the part. Okay, now that we're done setting up the X, Y, and Z, we can upload the file. So you go under file, part file load, Now, we're going to run the profile first for this specific part. Remember to go under your flash drive, right here, NC State Profile. That's what we're going to do. Now, we can press start. Is tool number two in the spindle? That's the quarter inch straight. Yes, it is. Is the X zeroed? Yes, we just did. Always remember to start the spindle. So you can either resume it or quit in order to fix the problem. So by resuming it, it'll pick up where it left off. You will always remember to start the spindle again. And then, okay. then you would have to switch it. Again, you would have to redo the tool change process and the zeroing process with the part. But since he's only using one tool, we can go ahead and start it. Make sure to start the spindle and the vacuum.
now we have to move the machine out of the way. Press K and then you would just use the arrow keys. Because now we have to take the screws out and then take the part out. Make sure you're in reverse mode, so I'll just spin it a little bit. Okay. Click it. Align. Yeah.